Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Molly here and I want to start this vlog. I actually started a while ago today, but things just got crazy and it is almost 9 o'clock at night. Um, and I put the vlog before work and after work because I guess the things are just crazy, but I'm going to do it now. Um, try to give you guys a just of what happened today. So I went to work. This whole week was just crazy because there's so short of staff and people are on vacation. People called out. Just had thick, but we got through the week. It's Friday. Yay! <laughs> Um, and yeah, so after work I went to a new store. It is called the Bahim. Um, and it's a crystal tarot card place. It's really cool. Um, I did get a couple things. I splurged a little bit. Just want to show you guys because also too, I'm trying to go to like different places and kind of have like little adventures going different places, trying different things. So I went and I got a couple things. So... I got this abundance um bracelet. It is tiger eye. I figured, you know, I'm trying to have an abundance um mindset lately. Like, you know, money will come to me. I am filled with love abundance. Um, so just stuff like that. Then um I don't know what these are, but this is the um Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn. Um, I'm right smack in the middle, actually, basically. But I had to get this. Um, I thought it was really cool. It's a Capricorn. Um, and I bought because I forget what this mineral is called, but Anna over at Anna's Drawing Journal, she did a short of cleansing her um, crystals. So I got one of those bowls. It is really pretty. It is heart shaped. I was trying to look for one, um, especially like a small shop like crystal shop and first there's a crystal shop in the mall and I looked there they didn't have like anything at all like this and I'm like well at least I tried and I saved one on Amazon but I'm like I don't really want to buy it off Amazon um I'd rather support small shops so luckily I waited because this is just gorgeous so I'm gonna put some of my um crystals if they fit in here I know one might not but maybe I can just put it right next to it. I have a angel. I forget what mineral it is, what crystal, but it's to promote bones, um, health, and um, all that, bone density. So that's why I got it because when I got that one, I was gonna go through my grafting surgery for my gums. Just something, you know, fun to think about. Um, and also, too, I am going through osteoporosis. For those who don't know, I have a disability. Part of that disability is getting osteoporosis. I have a slight form of it anyway, so um, that's why I got it. But I do have, I got from Five Below, a little packet that says um, Capricorn, and it has a couple crystals in it, so I was thinking of putting those in there at least, too. So, but yeah, it is almost 9 o'clock. I actually just finished cleaning my bathroom, um, so I'm just gonna relax and watch some YouTube after. I'm just gonna watch um, this one and Rise of Red, but I think I'm gonna say that for tomorrow because it is getting late and I got no sleep. Literally the last two nights, I got like three hours of sleep each night. So six hours total, like I'm just wiped out. So yeah, that's my haul and my little fun adventure. I forgot to record um, because I just was trying to find this stuff shop too. I figured out what um, plaza my mom told me. Because in the plaza, it's really nice. The woman was really nice. Um, they do tarot card readings on Tuesdays from like 12 to 3. And then Saturday, same time, like 12 to 3. So I wasn't able to make any readings today. Um, but the woman behind the cash register, she was really nice. She handed me the card for the tarot card reader and said, you know, she answers. Just give her a text, a message if you want her to give you a reading anytime so I have the card don't know if I will connect with her but it would be interesting if I do and I found this shop because my mom actually my mom yeah out of all people told me about the shop she went in with one of her friends and she just looked around and she actually got a tarot card reading it must have been on a Tuesday that they went um and the, during the day so it was pretty interesting how my mom went and I never went because I'm into this stuff but she's not really but she's kind of getting not like getting into it into it but understanding my fascination with it 
so it's really interesting um again this is just a fascination i'm just doing this for fun um and i've always been into tarot cards and the spirituality like crystals and stuff um so there's that this is another side of me i guess um i just find it interesting so yeah i just had to go check out the shop um and my mom was like if you really like it i'll get you a shirt or a sweater from the shop for christmas so <laughs> it was funny i might go buy one myself too so we'll see we'll see just to support a small business as well but the shop is very lovely very fun and open um it was just really nice they had little um positivity plaques too it was really cute they had a couple of tarot card decks that you could get um but yeah it was just really nice and just talking to the clerk that was at the cash register she was really nice too i don't know if she's the owner but i had a really good experience there and i would go again <laughs> um but yeah so that was what i did after work today after friday i really wanted to go so I went. <laughs> um, I'm just very excited about my little haul and putting my beads and crystals in here. So uh, yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I just thought I would let you guys know because I'll still, I haven't vlogged for a week really because a, now I've been so busy at work because I took a vacation in PTO. If you, this will be a vlog after my PTO um, video that I did. <laughs> Um, because I took first July week, I took the whole week off. I used my PTO to pay time off, took the whole week off. Um, so it felt so good. I went up to my parents' house up at the lake. We um spent time on the boat first July, um, which was really nice. The Wednesday I got there, we had a pasta night, which was really fun, and we just chilled. Um, we actually watched the new Zach Efron movie. Oh my god, Family Affair like that it was cute i liked it um it's just like a romance movie <laughs> it's kind of funny at times i'm a huge fan of second of fun so it was funny how my mom and dad wanted to watch it and i was like okay so <laughs> we watched it together <laughs> um so we watched that and then thursday we went on the boat and i just basically after that I just clocked out after dinner we had so much stuff on my family friend's boat um for food wise we had like steak chicken um sausage ribs and like pasta salad and potato salad salad so it was just a really fun first july um like i said with the sun and the heat i just basically clocked out right after i was just exhausted um tried to watch a movie with my parents but did not even make it through me and my dad did not make it through <laughs> and then Friday, um, I went to my family and friends, Marina, um, that they started their boat at, and they have a little beach there, so we went on the beach, um, because something was sadly happened to their boat, um, they came back, oh, good, fine, in the marina, luckily they made it and everything, because that's what got me worried when my mom told me what happened, but they're fine, they made it back, it just needs some work on it, um, so hopefully nothing would ever be safe. But yeah, um, so everyone is <laughs> safe. Um, and then that was nice. We had um, food again, leftovers, and for lunch, and just relaxed on the beach, had drinks, just watched the waves come in and out. It was just really nice, and the water was refreshing too. Um, Saturday, I came home. I was thinking of doing a return to home vlog, but I did not because I was just exhausted still um, with the sun and. Honestly, two nights I didn't get like any sleep probably because there's a different place in my apartment. Um, but yeah, and speaking of sleep, I'm only running on like six hours of sleep the past two nights um, eight total. Three nights on Thursday, three three nights Wednesday, three nights Thursday last night. So I'm exhausted. I don't know why, but feel free to leave a comment down below if this is you, but like I forget to sleep. It's not like anxiety inducing, though I did have a lot of stuff on my mind last night, so that is why, but... Friday, Wednesday night, I just forgot, like, I just need to go sleeping. I do this, like, once or twice in, it, like, in a row, days, and I just don't sleep until, like, 3 a.m., 2, 3 a.m., and I have to get up at 6 for work. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> um, thinking of calling my primary care doctor to see if I can figure this out, um, because it really is getting to me. 
Um, but I'll deal with that when the time comes. <laughs> but yeah, so if you like that, anyone, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like, you get to sleep. If it's not like anxiety or like just thinking about stuff, like having your mind race. Because my mind, when this happens, sometimes my mind doesn't ever, my mind just races. It just doesn't like think about the day, but it just races different thoughts. Or it's just blank and I just forget to sleep. It's just so weird. I don't know why. But, so yeah, I'm exhausted. So I think I'm going to save rising red for tomorrow not gonna be tomorrow's so like part of the vlog because i'm just gonna say hi right now it's been 10 minutes um introduce you to the vlog because i'm trying to like do new like i said um little adventures trying new places this year and i'm very happy i did um may it be like a new shop a new restaurant new park whatever um so yeah and i got feels good to go to a new place and try different things um and because i can't always be cooped up in this apartment either i want to go explore so as much as i am a homebody and an introvert i want to explore things too so i'm glad i went out and did this after work like i said my mom told me about it i was like that sounds so cool I'm so glad that she did so but i'm a mess i'm gonna go take my shower and the rest of the night um we could just chill for the rest of the night because that is what i am doing and i'll see you guys after i finish cleaning my apartment saturday so like at two o'clock three o'clock around there i'll keep going with this vlog because i'm just gonna be cleaning tomorrow but yeah also too so <laughs> before i forget i want to say this so i saw a quick um like tiktok instagram reel because there's an instagram like an instagram instagram reel uh, this girl, she's kind of making fun of Bob from Handsome, like of them recording it type thing. Um, back in the day, the 90s. But, like, her not understanding the lyrics, so you can't really hear them, what they're saying. At least for me, too, like, I'm hard of hearing, I can't really, like, tell. Um, so, but she's like, at the end of the video, actually read the lyrics, watch, like, the video lyrics of it. The song, it's just a whole nother level. When you read the lyrics so read the lyrics because it is wholesome it's definitely a wholesome 90s song i just love it now just reading the lyrics it's just really touching and just thinking about they were kids when they wrote that kids who would have thought but yeah so i was also during dinner i was just scrolling and i just saw the video i watched the music video with captions on just to read the lyrics and I'm like, whoo! It blew me through a roof. Just blew me out. I'm just like, straight to the roof. I'm like, oh, wow. Who would have thought? This is really interesting. Give me a new whole perspective because the song is real, guys. Time flies so fast. Um, yeah. It's just crazy because also, too, I am halfway done officially my 30s next year i'll be 36 i'm officially halfway done my 30s it is july the halfway mark my birthday's in january as you can tell i am a capricorn i'm january and it's just crazy to think about oh my god i already halfway done the year too where is it going where well, i already have done this week where has it gone i don't know it just goes so fast it goes so fast. <laughs> Sorry if my singing was horrible there. I'm just having fun. I'm going to get going now. Sorry else too. I don't like vlogging in the summer because my air conditioning <laughs> is right in the other room. I'm going to try to level up the sound in these videos. But again, any videos in the summer, if it's the sound quality, I do apologize. My air conditioning, literally my apartment has not been below 75 because it's been all hot this week, all in the 90s and I'm just keep using my air conditioning, using my air conditioning on low and then high when I get home, it's just, yeah, I can't turn them off, it's too hot, it's too hot, so that's what we're dealing with. <laughs> um, finally, like towards the end of the week, we're getting more relief next week and I think I'm going to open up my windows get the fresh air in um, to get all of this hot air out. I might do it quickly tomorrow. We'll see. But 
that is what happening you know tomorrow's supposed to be hot too so we'll see but that is what happened like i said i do apologize for any air conditioning noise it's over there it's in my main living my main entry like way room and have you and then there's one in my bedroom so it's hot it's hot i do apologize i will try to put that in the sound like i said other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I'm going to go get ready for bed. So, bye guys. See you in the morning. Welcome back. Um, it is Saturday. Uh, it just is exciting. I just love Saturdays. Um, besides the cleaning portion in the morning. But we finished our cleaning. We just have laundry to go. That's good. Two more loads. Um, so that's good. We're getting there. I actually had lunch as well. Just relaxed for a little bit. It is almost 3 o'clock already. But... It's crazy how time flies by, but I just want to show you guys. So on Swabbox, um, I got the Magical Lands of Disney collectibles. I got them all. <laughs> That's been so long since I did all the collectibles. It is just crazy, but since it's Disney too, I am a happy girl. I am so happy right now. <laughs> I just had to show that, but I think my well, laundry is going, and I kind of want to do something new. I think I want to do some Legos. I got this a while ago. Um, must be just two, yeah. I got the Sucker um, Blossom Kit a while ago, and I kind of want to do it so I can put them in a vase. I've seen um, Caitlin and Caitlin Kerner do like roses one or something like that. I don't remember which flower but I love cherry blossoms so I figured I get this one and put it in a vase I think that would be so cute so that's what I want to do is just do these and put them in a vase um I'm not gonna probably finish this all today um because I think that'd be too too much um because I have never done Legos before actually I used to play with Legos but I never like built anything you know like the Legos I get as a kid um I never did a kit before I used to do Zoids. Um, if you guys remember the anime Zoids, I will leave a little picture here. It's robots. Um, I d used to do some of the kits for Zoids, so like I used to have the attention span to do them, um, and the hands to do them. <laughs> so I'm curious if I will find this fun and interesting Legos. Um, I bought this, but before I bought this, I actually bought. Um, <laughs> this Encanto one because I thought that'd be really cute too but this has way more pieces so we're gonna start with something smaller and then work our way up <laughs> um but yeah I kind of want to like decorate my apartment a little just with like little hobbies too fun little cute little things this will be one of them I don't know where I'm gonna put it but I want to put them in a vase like I said um I already had the vase that I want to use in mine unless it might be too big which it might be but we'll see we'll see but we're gonna experiment I'm gonna put on a YouTube video um for like half an hour at least and just do this um <laughs> I'm really interested like I said how long this is gonna take and what it's gonna be like the process I have never opened this yet as you can tell I figured I open this for you guys and we'll just chill and do some Legos. Um, but yeah, so that is what's going to be up today. We're going to do some Legos. And then I don't know what else it depends to. Because I've also been reading and um, Green Gables of Green Gables. And I think that book is so cute. Um, I've been enjoying it. <laughs> um, and then so I'm going to do some reading. I know I want to watch tonight. <laughs> Descendants Rise of Red because it looks so good. It has brandy in it and yeah, I'm just very excited to finally watch it. But so I'm thinking I'm going to do that tonight after dinner, um, a little bit after dinner, um, as I just chill in. But yeah, so let's do this first and then we'll go from there. <laughs> I'm going to open this. I'm very excited. Let's see if these, yeah, they should have the instructions, yeah. Um, luckily they do. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, jeez. <laughs> so you do have to build the stems. And each one has flowers. Okay. Oh, jeez. Uh, 
Uh, so I there's looks like the total is eight bags. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's good. Okay. So we're gonna start. Uh, uh, so basically, I wanted to make everything the stems maybe. I'm gonna have to look into this. Yeah, the eye. I have no clue. <laughs> this is a book in itself. Oh right, yeah, so they're telling you bag one and two. Okay. Right. So we're gonna work with bags one and two right now and start at least creating the stem if I can do this. <laughs> Um, we'll figure this out. Like I said, I have never done this before. Luckily, there are pictures and, um, numbers, so. Um, let's start doing this. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> working on this for about half an hour which I think we did pretty good considering I never done it before um this coming along but I realized we have to use the square and now I'm trying to get this slope oh got it <laughs> it was taking me forever so this is supposed to go in there and then yeah so it all sticks together, right? I had to figure this out again. Hmm, weird. I'll figure it out though, but this is how far we got and we did pretty good. We did pretty good. We're doing it. So, I'm very happy so far. It's been fun, but I'm gonna go change over laundry and I don't know if I'll continue to start now because I think I do need some break from this frustration a little bit. Not frustration, but a break because this is new to me. So, We'll see, we'll see, but I'll be back in a little bit. So, I realized you're not supposed to be butt on the side, and there was, so that's why it was not connecting. <laughs> Silly Molly, but we did good, we're doing pretty good. I'm actually, I've been enjoying it um, for the most part, but I'm going to take a break because this new one's kind of overstimulating me a little bit, but we're doing good, we are doing good. I don't know how people do it, so I might put a sticky note on the box here, on the, um, instructions to know where I'm at and then put this all in a box <laughs> or I can leave this there that'd be cool too so but we're gonna take a break and now I'm gonna switch to the laundry and I'll be back with you guys in a little bit luckily I did get this box at by below so I'm just gonna store these in there very nicely I'm gonna go change over laundry because it is time. But I have my own Lego box now. <laughs> Maybe I should do a little label that goes. That'd be really cute. And have a little label maker, but that'd be cute if I could. But yeah, so I'm gonna do laundry. Probably just read for a little bit. Make a cup of tea. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make a cup of tea and read for a little bit as the tea cools down. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So next to the laundry side, so that feels good. We're getting that done. Um, uh, we're having some coziness. Um, the locals was fun, but like I said, I kind of want to move on now too. I can do that throughout the week, like diamond on. I feel like as long as I put the piece or get a sticky note and put it in the direction, so I know where I left off. Um, so feel free to leave comments like, how do you guys do Legos if you work on Legos? I would love to know. Maybe I should do more YouTube research on Lego, see if there's like anything interesting to learn. But yes, I am having fun with the Legos. Um, I already have an idea, like I said, on where I want to put them. So that would be good um, once they're done. <laughs> um, and, but right now, I am going to wait for my 
cup of tea here. I'm using my Elsa mug that one of my best friends gave me. Um, and then I am, as that cools, I'm going to read a chapter of Anne of Green Gable. Like I said, I've been having fun reading this. Um, it's just so cute. Um, I highly suggest it, especially in the summer. This is, is really a good summer read. Um, I've just been having fun with it. Like I said, it's been cute. There was one chapter that was hilarious. Um, I did feel a little bad, but it was hilarious too at the same time. Um, just one of those things. Um, but I'm actually halfway done or like three-fourths done. So that's cool. And I just, like I said in the other one, I just love the colors and there's photos too. Like, I'm so glad I picked this up at Barnes & Noble when I did. I think it was like maybe $10, $15 in between there. But I feel like it's like a classic and it's just gorgeous. So I just, like I said, been having fun reading this. I've been reading it before like Swapbox Live, like 15 minutes before because usually I finish my dinner and everything. It's like 7.45, so before Swapbox Live at 8.00. Two, I've been reading this, um, and it's been fun. It's been really cute. It's taken me a little bit because, like I said before, the old English I have to kind of sometimes translate in the back of my mind depending on what they're saying. So it is the older side English, um, but like I said, I've been having fun. I highly suggest it. It's so cute. Um, it's a good read. I'm gonna start reading a chapter now at least while that goes. Then maybe watch some YouTube. We'll see, we'll see. But also too, I kind of want this to be like a combination of new stuff and maybe we'll play some Pikachu, Detective Pikachu too because I never opened it yet. So maybe we'll play Detective Pikachu 2 because I never played the first one either so hopefully I don't need to play the first one, we'll see. I don't think you probably do but I think that's what I'm going to do right now is at least read this and just watch my tea cool so a little bit because it is hot. I'm going to read this and I'll get back to you guys. <laughs> I never show you guys really the um, gems that I got, the crystals. So th this is what I got at five below. They had a pack for each zodiac horoscope zodiac. Um, I got the Capricorn one, three bucks as you can tell. Um, so here's a better look at it. Um, this one has. Hopefully, I'm saying it right. Say night. Soda light and rose cork. So, which, um, this same light is what this is as well. Um, my dish that I got last night is supposed to help cleanse. And then that's what it says. Same light removes <laughs> negative energy, charges your aurora and spirit. Soda light clears the mind, brings out deep thoughts. Rose quartz self-love helps foster loving relationships. I'm going to put them in here just for fun. Um, and that way I can discard. Actually, I think I'm going to keep this though. Oh! How cute. They give you a little baggie too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll put the little baggie in somewhere else though. I can. Ta da! And there and there. Um, and then I'm going to. I don't know if this would do anything with these, but, you know, just for fun. It's a little dish. <laughs> but yeah, obviously, my angel, which is a big one, is not going to fit here. I have an angel one, um, and it's supposed to, like I said, help bone density. So, <laughs> it's not going to fit in here, but this, this is kind of cute, though. Alright. So, and I could just pick these up and wear them. Every day, so 
yeah i just thought i would fill this up with, um fill this with you guys so i thought that'd be fun um but yeah i think i'm gonna keep this so too because this is interesting so i know what they are i think i'm gonna keep this keep the little baggie but throw away the other stuff so but yeah that is the deal i just did this now i'm gonna have to go have a snack um and then relax until the noon time though i think i'm gonna do my orange chicken with white rice and um broccoli just because it's so hot in here i actually have this air conditioning off because i'm talking to you guys hopefully you can't hear the one that's in my little entryway living room type situation um but <laughs> i'm just trying to keep them as low as I can out for the volume right now um but it's hot it's like 75 in here so it's not that bad but still it's hot because I am doing uh laundry so laundry gets things hot too so when I cook the orange chicken I'll be able to use my air fryer which doesn't create that much heat and same with uh, my rice on the stove top and I'm just gonna put the um broccoli in the microwave for like three minutes like I usually do frozen broccoli three minutes in a bowl you're good. Just throw it in with everything else. So, and that's what I'm going to do for dinner tonight, most likely. I was thinking of putting in a pizza, but it's too hot. It is almost 90 again today. So, it's like 89 or 88. So, it's still a little hot. Plus, I, like I said, I had the um, laundry going. So, that creates more heat. So, it is what it is. But this morning, I would tell you guys, I did open up some of my windows, um, which felt really good just to try to get some of the air out while I was cleaning the hot air that was in here from when I went on vacation I just don't think it like went away because I only stayed at 75 so I don't think it went away but it was nice to get some of it out this morning <laughs> um, I feel like a little difference right now um hopefully anyways we'll see tonight how it works but yeah I'm hoping one day to own my own house and have some toilets so I don't need to deal with this, that is my dream. I mean, I can have a puppy. I want a puppy. But, for now, this is what we deal with. <laughs> um, or at least, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's good to think about things, so, in the future, but, yeah. One day. One day, but for now, this is how we live. It is what it is, especially in summer, which is why I don't like vlogging in the summer, because of my air conditioners. But, it is what it is. It gets hot. It is what it is. So, you just want to stay cool and comfortable and not dehydrate and get heat stroke. So, safety first, guys. I'll see you guys in a little bit, though, while I forgot to what else I need to do next. So, oh my god, guys. So, I did a tarot card reading really quick just for fun. Um, with Nessa Simonia, Mina, hopefully I said it right. Wild. Muse Oracle deck. I love this deck. They're so cool. She uses it so often in her videos too. I just find them so gorgeous. The cards themselves. So I had to get it. Um, like last year for Christmas present to myself. I don't remember. But I did a tarot card reading with this. And I want to show you guys. Because it's kind of creepy. The way it's set up. So I'll show you guys. So here is my tarot card spread that I did. This one came out automatically. It just popped out. These four popped out together. So the weird thing is manifesting, goal setting, and open to receiving. This is what I want the rest of the year to look like. And that's what I asked you. What will the rest of the year look like for 2024? And this is what I got. Um, I don't know what kind of changes they're going to be, but hopefully they're good changes, big changes, because I want to be open to receiving and manifesting and goal setting, like getting at least 100 followers this year, um, and, you know, like, just, yeah, just manifesting my goals and all that stuff, so it's just crazy how this all just came out when I asked. What will the rest of the 2024 year look like? <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys. I hope that didn't creep you guys out too much. Um, but that's just scary, crazy how that all just popped out. And I just wanted to show you guys. Like, I just love tarot cards because for me, it's more of 
direction and like how I'm feeling and how I can get going. You know what I mean? Like all that good stuff. Like um, I think his name is Chris um, and upon the tarot card reader says, just using it as a spirit guide. That's what came out. And I love these cards too. These are like my favorite. And the creepy thing is a lot of Vanessa's and Lila's stuff just comes out when I do either like choose a card or the Capricorn um, for the month. So it's just kind of creepy how that came out too. Because those are her cards that she made that I bought. So, <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. So, but we're going to go hang out for the rest of the night too. We'll find something else to do too. As you can see, I have never even opened this. Detective Pikachu. <laughs> oh, returns. Not two, but returns. So I'm guessing hopefully we don't need to play the first one because I never played the first one, even though it actually looks really cute and I heard I feel like I heard pretty good things about it. I don't know why. I just never picked it up for my 3DS. And now it's probably so expensive too because the shop closed um, on the 3DS, the Nintendo shop online. So it's like, mm, I was meant to buy it. Um, but <laughs> I didn't for some reason. So I'm trying to open this. But yeah, I want to see if I can open this and actually start getting some of it done. I have about 15 minutes until dinner, until I want to start making dinner. So I got some of it. Okay. Um, and then I'll make dinner and then we are going to watch Rising Red, which I'm very excited for too because it just looks so good and so interesting. So I'm very excited to watch. Oh my god. Of course. <laughs> Didn't take it all off. <laughs> there we go. No, I don't it. Alrighty, I'm gonna throw this away, the wrapping, and then we're gonna put this in to our switch and hopefully it doesn't need to be updated. We'll see if it does then I'll probably just wait to have to play it. But it just looks so cute too. So I don't think we need to play the original. So yeah, I wish they really put the first one on the Switch. I don't know why they haven't yet, but anyways, we're going to put this in. Take a look. <laughs> That's really cute, actually. Uh, uh. But yeah, alrighty, we're going to throw this away. Oh, Mewtwo is on the top. Huh. Interesting. Um, We're going to start playing this because I have not played it yet. And I was just thinking about it, like, the past two weeks. I don't know why I haven't played it, but we're going to play it. And I'll see what the gaming was like on it, the style. So... So, if you're a Pokemon fan and really interested in, like, a human and Pokemon world. This is really cute, like them coming together. I was just enjoying it for like the last 10 minutes I was playing it. Um, but yeah, if you're a Pokemon fan and want something a little different, this could be up your alley. This is actually really cute and you don't need to play the first one so far. They give you a little synopsis of what the first one was at the beginning of the um, game and then you go on from there. They give you the tutorial as well. So. Really cute. I've been having fun with it. It's a good game so far. So in the first 10 minutes anyways that I was playing, I can't wait to see all the other Pokemon that's in here. So we'll see which ones there are in there. But yeah, so um, I'm actually going to go cook dinner now. Sorry I didn't show me playing the game, but I completely forgot. I was just into actually watching the tutorial. But I'm going to cook dinner now and just relax for the rest of the evening and watch rise of red which i'm really interested in so that's so far what's gonna happen anyways um but i'm getting hungry it is six o'clock time to make dinner so let's get going on that sorry if you can hear the washing machine but i just want to say something that's so funny so 
my upstairs roommate, she apparently bought some juice. She thought it was dry cranberry juice, um, but it's not. So she gave me some cranberry um, juice, cranberry mango. So it's really good. She said it's really good, but she was about to get to buy it. So I asked if I wanted this. It's short. <laughs> I thought I was vlogging today. It's too funny. Um, but yeah, it definitely looks really good. I'm really curious to see what it tastes like and actually drink it um, throughout the week next week. So we're gonna put this in the fridge um, and then start cooking though because it is time to cook. I'll see you guys in a little bit after dinner. Here is my dinner for tonight. Orange chicken, broccoli, and rice. I just love this meal. It is always so good and it usually hits the spot. It's so easy. It's only like 20 minutes because you gotta get the air fryer heated up a little bit, preheated. And then the rice takes 15 minutes as well. But it's like 15 to 20 minutes. I call it my Rachel Ray. Um, but yeah, I just love it. It's just so good. So that's what I'm having for dinner tonight with the ginger ale. So, bing! I'll see you guys in a little bit, though. So, dinner was good. I am so <laughs> full. Um, but I have about, like, an hour now until I want to watch Rise of Red, um, which I'm, again, I'm very excited for. So, I don't know. I feel like I kind of want to watch, uh, not watch, but play Crash Bandicoot for some reason. I don't know why. I'm not feeling or continue my Legos. I don't know. But <laughs> with that, I am going to let you guys go because um, I feel like this vlog might be getting a little too long and I don't want to get too long. But also feel free to leave a comment down below. Do you guys prefer longer vlogs? I know some people do like hour to almost two hour vlogs, especially if they're decluttering or like reading certain books, um, what have you. But I like my vlogs to be like 20 to 30 minutes so I can just eat dinner and relax while watching it and then clean up. <laughs> That's what I prefer so I like to keep it simple basically. Um, but yeah, feel free to leave a comment down below how long you like the vlogs. Um, right now I think we're almost like half an hour to 40 minutes maybe. I don't know. I haven't looked exactly at the times. But um, and it's been a lot of talking. Anyways, so I'm going to let you guys go, though. Um, you guys got a glimpse of basically my weekend. <laughs> um, I'm just going to be relaxing tomorrow, basically. But other than that, I'll let you guys go. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends!